So we are ready to get into the MacBook Pro 15 inch 2015. So let's see what the bad boy has in place. Yeah, still have some paint from Carnival. So we bought this MacBook for a solid 220 euro. Um, actually, it was for 200, but uh, you know, he did not list that it was the AMD um, dual graphics card, and in the end, I just gave him a 20 extra. So, um, yeah, it's the, the Max Spec 2015 for 220. It's a real solid deal, especially with uh, especially with the upgradable storage, and also it's a 15 inch, so that's great. Um, from that point of view, it's certainly great. It also has the great keyboards, unlike all the ones that came after, so that's great. And as well, um, so it did not have the, the shitty butterflies that came after, which always broke, and which were actually bad, and not the throttle, which is also a very important factor. Let's see how it was treated. Oh, it's pretty good. The one I actually have was like a, a, dust, a dust paradise, and there were like curtains all over the place. So, but yeah, this one has like... Um, 160 cycles only, so yeah, I guess this one, that would be actually the reason why uh, this one does not look that that bad, because mine uh, is actually also a 2015. Uh, he had 960 cycles, so this one had 150, so yeah, way less dust. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, it's also always a procedure of mine to make sure that um, you don't buy a laptop when it's uh, not fully resetted. Uh, you have to make sure as well that um, their Apple account is disconnected, um, and second of all, that it's fully resetted. Um, because else, you know, else they can say that it's a stolen laptop even though they sold it. It's, it has been updated up. I mean, an internet connection is very fun. We managed to get the internet going. Let's do the reinstalled Mac OS Monterey. First, some uh, performance specs going, and then see whether the, the result of the test would would make it faster. Ah, yeah, one's power. So it's gonna install macOS. Let's get back into it once it's ready. Now it says it's two hours nineteen. It might be way less. It all depends on the speed you manage to catch further on. We'll see. Black magic disk speed test. So before uh, cleaning up the MacBook. Uh, before new thermal paste for other Samsung 970 Evo Plus. So let's see if it actually needs that uh, Samsung 970 Evo Plus, which is considered like one of the best in mine. It does 2500 write, 2000 reads. I did not actually yet uh, perform it, so surprise for me as well. <laughs> yeah, not bad, not bad. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, yeah, well, one gig slower. Yeah, because I actually also saw that um, quite some. Quite some elements of um, the RAM is actually put in storage. I thought it was only from the from the M M series Max that they actually had that feature, but apparently it's also from before. It's always uh, like four four gigs, which is always used as well as RAM. So technically speaking, that would also indeed ramp it up through the day as well. Cool. But yeah, five hundred gigs you can improve that so easily to do the four the for actually pretty pretty darn good price, especially since you actually can upgrade it here without issues. So let's look into the Geekbench 6 2015-15, 2.8GHz, 15, so all maxed out model. So let's see the CP benchmark. It's, it's only 150 cycles, this computer, which is pretty insane. The Intel's doing what they're, they're known for, huh? it's like the airplane, you know, lifting up. But it's pretty fine in general. Uh, obviously the M, the M series are you know, quite some more energy efficient and therefore less watts, therefore less need for cooling, which is one real advantage from the M series. Pretty good, it's like half half an M1, so not bad, not bad, not bad. 2015 and actually like the performance of the start of 2018 actually, because the ones after all had their throttling issues because they were thinner with their keyboards that were bad, uh, bad design, bad butterflies. Um, this one of the good ones, uh, the classics. Um, so yeah, really great. So let's get into the second. Uh... Let's look into the GPU benchmarks.
Welcome to my living in Köln. Let's get into the cleaning part. I have two tools, three tools actually with me. A toothbrush from China, a free one from the hotel. And then I actually just bought uh, like 12, 12 of those uh, microfiber cloths for like 10 euro. Pretty great deal. Uh, and then isopropyl. Very good for electronics, a classic within the field. Should not be aiming it at the computer before I did. This computer does have a significant issue with its speakers, so that one certainly will need to be um, resolved. So actually, uh, I would say around 80 euro that you can get discount. Um, yeah. <laughs> here, here is especially the two important locations because here you have your um, CPU and GPU, and then uh, here's your heat sink we're gonna repaste that one later on and put some isopropyl on there could get into this one You managed to clear this out, the sides, the sides should depend, there's still a lot inside. Well, it's just good for the health of a laptop to, to not be full. Mandip is at the door. Look, Mandip. Let's, let's let him inside. Here we do notice some spots that are like curtains, which become then full curtains once you have around 500 to 1000 cycles. I did manage to experience that, so like a full dust computer uh, with a thousand cycle. Also really depends on how the person uses actually the, the MacBook. I really recommend actually this toolbox. It's incredible. 20 euro. Amazon. One actually a good way to do it is to put the screws on the location that they need to be reinstalled. So that you actually get a full overview on where to put each screw. I should have done that with the previous, the previous screws because the the corners have different lengths than the sides. The main next way to get the dust out is uh, removal of the heat sink. I actually think, look, 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 this one we can actually not remove. That's pretty nice. I also have good experiences with this computer to externally boot it with Windows, which allows to undercut the price points of parallels, which is a yearly 70 euro at the very least. For example, when I needed to use a universal ID reader in Asia to validate my identity for a phone operator of Europe, and it only uh, worked on my Windows booted Mac 2015, uh, and neither on uh, my Mac booted 2015, and neither on my M1 Max. So now we can get into quite some dusty areas. So, very good. This is clear now. Now, 
Let's in. One location is below the MVME. Uh, we can actually not remove it because here we go. 2015. And this one has to be like, pulled from both angles, slightly up. Dusty place. With these ones, the Apple MVME is very important to put it in the right direction. This one is still disconnected so that the power of the computer don't work, so that we cannot destroy the MVME or other parts. Then we push it in. It's, it's surprisingly far that you need to push it in, and also one of the elements when a computer does not work, just always double check if uh, this one is pushed far enough because. Uh, the screw is an indicator, but it needs to be real, 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 real far in to actually connect, so always double check that one. Apple is known for having pretty long, long lifespan thermal paste, but you know, still nine years. Yeah, normal thermal paste lasts like four years, so nine years, you know, it's, it's time. There's a topic on how much thermal paste and what form. So the general recommendation is the shape team P, but that one is not actually quite the best. The P does never get into the right shape with the distribution once you press it in. Then there is the cross, it was a pretty good one. Just trying to minimize the distance the thermal paste needs to travel, therefore decreasing the chance of bad bad application there's another person at the door actually Stefan let's get into this Especially this one is uh, dirty. So let's get into the thermal crystal P. No sponsor. Left to in my box. Pretty fine to me. And luckily, we put all our screws in a nice box up there. I just noticed that the screws did not fully align. I pressed a bit on this side and now they perfectly do align. So what did you manage to do? You managed to do it. Let's remove them. They won't be fixed. Just remove them, let's remove them. So all the place. So the question is, did it improve? But at this point it's not actually possible to get full full answer on that because um it's known that the the computer reacts differently with dried thermal paste as to straight applied thermal paste, so still wet.
I certainly think that the computer 2015-15 uh, Max Spec has a great value proposition, which has the ability to perform various tasks, as it also has an interactive database, which is versatile in quantity of storage, solution, and actually operating systems, or as a computer on the side while already having a computer of the employer, due to it really not being recommended to only have an employer laptop. It can certainly as well reduce the cost basis of owning a pretty good computer, and for example, then for the next two years, while the prices of the more high-end models are dropping, uh, this actually could be the way to undercut your uh, depreciation on laptops while your functional criteria might not actually require to for you to splash the cash currently on a, on a higher end uh, element. Okay, so 4% improvement, not bad on the graphics card front. That's a pretty good system, especially since the, the cleaning was uh, on a quite low end um, and had there been like absolute uh, curtains, then that would have yeah, pretty obviously been way more improvement. Thanks a lot for viewing. Feel free to subscribe for future electronics IT videos. The 2012 was added to form a basis of comparison. Uh, the 2019 is certainly also a beloved year of MacBooks, and as we see, the M1 13-inch is certainly is a better performance, though you need to weigh as well in the pricing 3080 euro. Uh, that's also for the lowest, lowest, lowest spec, uh, a mega small uh, drive, 250 gigs. It also needs external storage and you know a small screen and compatibility with Windows. The upgrade from MacBook 13-inch with thermal pass is certainly also a possible path to increase performance significantly. So yeah, the lowest spec 14-inch is from 760 euro and certainly is a powerhouse.